Hey everyone, welcome back again to another Flutter tutorial and in this session we will look into how to implement Neopop style components in a Flutter app. So basically what we have here is a simple example of the same. We have added the Neopop package available in pub.dev with the help of which you will be able to create this nice looking 3D button widgets in our Flutter app. So instead of this boring 2D elevated button widget, if you are looking for adding 3D widgets, then you can definitely check this Neopop package with the help of which we have created this 3D button widget and upon on press event you also notice that it typically looks like a physical button press and this is also made possible with the help of this package though we won't be implementing this 3D button widgets in most of the regular or professional apps if you are someone who is developing a mobile gaming application then you can definitely go for trying out this 3D package which makes your app even more cool therefore in this video I will walk you through how to implement this Neopop style components in our Flutter app and this is the package which we have been talking right now. As for the video recording date, the latest version is 1.0.2. Also, if you notice that this is the package which is officially created by Credo. And it also supports all the six platforms including Android, iOS, Linux, Mac OS, Web and Windows. And the package documentation, they have provided that the Neopop is a Credo's inbuilt library for using Neopop components in our Flutter app. And they have also provided with the detailed documentation of how to implement this package and if you scroll down you will notice that you will get individual example and code snippets for configuring this neopop button so basically if you see here in the normal state it is going to look like a 3d button and upon the button press it is going to change it to 2d which typically makes it looks like a physical button press you also get the code snippet for each and every example what you see here so there are multiple ways you can customize this neopop button based upon the use case of your application also you can wrap the child component inside this neopop simmer widget to have that nice simmer effect running all the way through the buttons. So we have plenty of examples they have provided in the documentation itself. And here you can see the list of attributes which you can configure for this neopop button. So starting with the child which is going to be the required parameter followed by the color on tap callbacks. So you can provide two different methods for on tap up as well as on tap down callback functions. And you can customize the colors duration borders etc and the final button what we have been talking right now is this neopop button where we have this nice looking 3d perspective including the shadows this is what we will be trying to implement in this video tutorial all right here they have combined the neopop button as well as the simmer effect all together and let's try to create this kind of a nice looking 3d button widget along with the simmer effect in our flutter app so now let's head back to our vs code Hope you got a better understanding of what we are about to discuss in this video. With this idea and without any further delay, let's directly jump into the coding part and start with the implementation process. First, let's try to add the package. Therefore, let's head over to the perspec. And the package is going to be the Neopop and always check for the latest version. After adding this package, let's move on to the main.dat file. And here in the main.dat file, we have a navigation to my home page. Here inside the my home page, we have a stateless widget class with an empty scaffold. Now let's start building up the UIs. First let's try to import the Neopop package. After which inside the body, let's create a simple container widget with few spacing. And the child is going to be the build Neopop button method which is a custom defined function which we will be writing down shortly. And you can see that this component is going to be aligned in the bottom center. Now let's try to define this build Neopop button method. This neopop button method is going to return the neopop button widget which we get as a result of this package installation. This neopop button is going to take a list of arguments. You can see that as you hover over this component, you will see a list of required as well as optional parameters including the child which is the required parameter followed by the colors, callback functions, the same thing which we have already seen in the package documentation. You are free to play around with these parameters to configure this neopop button based upon your choice. For this tutorial to keep it simple we will just work around with the few basic parameters. The first is going to be the boolean variable is floating followed by the callback which is the on tap button and it is going to be totally optional if you want you can also configure the on tap down button as well followed by which we will define the decoration which is the neopop button decoration that accepts the color values after providing few spacing on the horizontal and vertical let's define the child which is the text widget and if you refresh this app you will see that you get this nice looking neopop button widget and finally in order to add the simmer effect we can just wrap this child component inside the neopop simmer method and provide the simmer color which is the white in this case. 
Finally, as a cherry on the cake, let's provide the background image, which is the image that we have already added in the assets folder. So here in the assets folder, we have this image, which is going to be the background image of this application. Therefore, here inside the container widget, let's define the decoration and provide the asset image. And if we restart, we get this nice looking flutter app with this 3D button, which is the Neopop button. So you can actually go for adding this 3D button widget to any of your flutter app, including the mobile gaming applications, so on and so forth. So hope you found how to implement this Neopop package in your flutter app. If you found this tutorial useful, consider subscribing and I will see you again in the next video.